Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I really hope you guys are doing great today. Here I am after taking a little bit of break from YouTube due to health reasons, but I'm totally fine now. I'm feeling much, much better today. So today I'm going to share a review video. As much as I love beauty, skincare and health related videos, I love stationery as well. And recently I started collecting fountain pens to add to that collection today i'm going to review a crystal ink pen that i purchased from amazon it comes in this black box it is perfect to gift someone the kit comes with a crystal ink pen along with 12 inks which is really great for the beginners there is no need to go and get separate inks a kit costs around rupees 750 i believe and i will link the exact kit down in the description below so i really hope you find this video useful please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this keep watching thank you hey guys welcome back so as i mentioned earlier the crystal glass pen comes in this beautiful black box and it is perfect to gift someone all we have to do is wrap it in a gift wrapper and it is ready to go so once we open the box you can see that the pen and the inks are arranged perfectly and they are placed in this foam sheet which is perfect to protect it from breaking the glass pen itself is like it comes in this green color and tip of the glass pen is protected with a plastic cover so this is my first crystal glass pen so i do not have uh, much uh, knowledge to compare it with uh, any other uh, glass pen i think that the quality of it is good for the price that i paid so, and the kit comes with this 12 ink which is really good for the beginners and you can see that the ink has a glitter in it which is perfect and it looks amazing when I write it. So since I am a beginner with a crystal glass pen, I do not have any knowledge on which ink to use with the glass pen. So I'm very glad that the kit comes with this 12 ink set. And coming to the inks, I'm very happy like how the inks are packaged and the, it comes in this glass bottle and it has this rubber stopper. It does a perfect job not allowing the ink to leak it. So opening up the ink bottle is pretty simple and straightforward. All we have to do is take out the rubber stopper. It gets messy in the beginning but we will get used to it. To use the crystal glass pen, all we have to do is dip the glass pen in the ink and that's it. You can see that the tip of the crystal pen has the spiral design in it. So the ink gets stored in that design and it comes down while we start writing it. And cleaning up the crystal pen is very simple and this is the most satisfying part for me. All we have to do is dip the glass pen in water and just uh, wipe it with a tissue paper and it is ready to go. So this is one main thing I love about crystal ink pen. We can change the ink whenever we want compared to fountain pen where we have to clean the pen completely in order to change the ink. So here I have a few papers lined up to test the glass pen and the inks. The first one is a regular uh, A4 printer paper. All I'm going to do is dip the glass pen and start writing it. So my first thought is like the glass pen writes really, really smooth. I did not expect it. I saw many reviews before placing an order of the glass pen and most of them they said like there is some scratching noise that comes from the pen but with my experience using this particular glass pen there is no noise like that. Of course it takes some time to get used to it but I liked it straight away. I tried to hold the pen in a slanting position the uh, ink flows without any issues i tried it but obviously it has a learning and all we have to do is practice 
so the next question i had was like how long can i write using the glass pen after dipping like once in the ink so i'm pretty much impressed with how long i can write it is not bad at all so here you can see how much i can write after dipping like once in the glass pen and i really liked it like i'm happy like how long i can write after dipping once so here uh, after writing it when i turned over the page i was surprised to, to see there is no bleeding of the ink so this is an a4 paper as i said before and next is an uh, executive bond paper and i'm using a red color in this uh, to see how the ink flows and also if there is any bleeding at the back of the paper here you can see that the ink flows pretty well if you are someone who likes their lettering uh, thickness to be like very thin uh, this is not the pen for you i prefer my letters to be like very thin but here the thickness of the letters is like little bit bigger than my expectation so once i'm done with writing when i turned over the page i was really surprised to see that there is a, a bleeding of the ink in this executive bond paper so this is not the paper to use it with the these these inks I, next i'm going to try these inks on a watercolor paper i know for sure there is not going to be any bleeding at the back of the paper when it comes to the flow of the glass pen it is very smooth compared to the a4 paper and the bond paper i really like the way the pen writes on this watercolor paper next i want to try these inks on a black paper so i took the lightest color from the kit and i tried it i expected uh, the it to be like much visible in the black paper but it is not you can see that once the ink gets little bit dried the letters are visible but it is not like the the letters are very clear so these inks doesn't work on a black paper so as i mentioned before the kit comes with a uh, 12 inks which is perfect for someone who is using the glass pen for the first time initially like it gets a little bit messy you can see my fingers are covered with inks but you will get a hang of it i really hope you found this video useful please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this thanks for watching and see you in my next video